All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and share the link, and let us have a good time together. Uh, just to remind you before we start that tonight, uh, in USA time, uh, we will have a special program in uh, Quality of Life account, in case you like to join us, and the topic will be making new friends or stay with old friends. What is better? And this is a question was sent to me by one of you. And if you like, uh, I will post the link or maybe the admin can post the link for the video so you can join us later at night in USA time, which is going to be morning time in Indonesia and Asia. So if you are interested and that channel there have nothing to do with Islam, we don't there. We don't deal with Islam or deal with any things have nothing to do with Islam, which means it's a clean topic always there. Here it's just talking about the garbage of Muhammad. So if you like to join us, please feel free now. We start with our topic. The Muslims always, they come and they say to the Christians, how one plus one plus one is equal to one, isn't it three? So isn't it belief in the Trinity is irrational, not smart? I mean, is it obvious? One plus one plus one plus one is a three. And here, you know, the, the second I see the Muslims uh, uh, making this one plus one, I mean, first of all, who who is who is the one who is adding the plus between? I mean, is that you? Is it us? Christian, don't believe in one plus one plus one. So why you are making this one plus one plus one? What about we do this? Uh, as long as we are talking about mathematics and rational, hmm? Uh, isn't it God is uh, uh, he is uh, like in infinity what infinity mean the Muslim they could say in Allah is in infinite you know, like is in, in infinity there's no limit for Allah okay so if your God is like this so if we say uh, zero plus zero oh, hold on for some reason is not giving me all right now zero plus zero equal to zero but you might say to me, who said that uh, this is what we are talking about, uh, zero plus zero plus zero? Well, you are the one who made it about mathematics. Or what about we say one x one x one x one is equal to one? I'm just going with your games, Muslims. See, this is your game. So we want to play your game. Equal to one. So why you choose one plus one plus one when we Christians believe that God is one? We don't believe one God plus one God plus one God is one God. We believe God is one from the beginning. So why they lie and they fabricate things we don't even believe in? The answer is very simple. Muslims are copy paste. Somebody come with this idea one plus one plus one, and everybody copy paste. Nobody think about it. Okay, where are the Christians in the Bible says there is one plus one plus one plus one? Can you show me the verse? Can you show me one single verse in the Bible says that we Christians believe in such a garbage? We don't. So why you lie about us? You see, I can I, I can be filthy and play the same game they play. I can say now Allah have ninety nine names. So name number one plus nine number two plus nine. This is mean there is ninety nine in Allah. They will say no to me. This is attribute to Allah. Okay. So there's no ninety nine Allah. No. Okay, no problem. What about the Quran says in the name of Allah, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim? Why Allah he start with three names? So you say and you claim that Allah is one. But why Allah start with a three? Why he don't start with four? You see, if you go to every single verse in the Quran, you will find a trace of a trinity all over the Quran. 
This is the yellow pages of Muhammad, which we love at day and night. The first verse in the Quran, not the second verse, not the third verse, just go to the second verse in the Quran. Hmm? This is the first verse in the Quran. Anyone who speak Arabic, he will see it says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. By the way, the word Bism here is written wrongly in Arabic. We don't have something that's called Bism. We have Bism. The Muslims, they deleted the Alif, the A, letter A, from the word to make it easier to recite, which means they are correcting Allah. Yeah, Allah, why you are giving us Bism? It doesn't make sense when we sing it. It's not nice. Bismillah. So we say what? We say Bism. <laughs> Fabrication. But if you look with me here, right away you will see three names of Allah. Question, why three names? You see, you, you Muslims are against the Trinity. And you don't believe in the Trinity. So why Allah, from the first verse in the Quran, He start with the Trinity names? Allah, Ar-Rahman, ar rahim One plus one plus one equal to one. If Allah is against a trinity, the trinity, why he is starting his religion with the trinity? If you say to me those are just three names, well, the question is why they are three names? Why Allah don't quote four names? Is the names of Allah are equal to each other? Well, obviously not. Because Allah, he chose a three out of 99. And then here we have another problem. Why Allah have 99 names? Which is nothing but multiply of number three. This is 99 in Arabic. Let us type it in English. Hmm? What is 99? 99 simply. You divide it to three. is 33 what does that mean jesus the christ he died at the age of crucified at the age of 33 x3 99 muhammad he learned this from the early christian who used to have a rosary in their hand and the rosary have 33 stones and they some of them they make it 99 stone so the one who have 33 stones he repeat praying like he you know he count by the stones of the rosary how many times he prayed and he do it 33 time etc you will find in the rosary which the muslim use 30 stones plus a three in the top if I go right now and I type the word Masbaha, just to be sure we are going to get something the Muslim use, not someone else. Give me a second. All right. Let us see the Masbaha. Now for sure, some of them, they don't even know what they do it. Some of them, they are made in China, but supposedly it should be like this. You will see three stones at the end, and then supposedly the rest will be 30 stones. Why? Why why you have this? Uh, where you get this from? You know, once I was sitting, uh, like uh, we went, uh, uh, like, you know, visiting a castle in the Middle East. And there was uh, a Muslim, old Muslim, very old man. You know, very, very old man with long beard. And he have rosary in his hand, masbaha. So, you know, we said, sit next to him, how are you? You live here in this area, etc. We were talking and uh, he have a rosary in his hand. So I was saying, what are you saying when you do a rosary? He say, I, I, I pray. So that's nice. But do you know how many stones in your rosary? 
He said, yeah, 33. I said, why 33? He said, I don't know. He don't know. He don't know. Do you Muslim know? Do you Muslim know? We don't know. For all of Islam is a copy and theft of others. That is the age of Jesus. And the Trinity of Islam is coming from the Trinity of Christianity. This is why we see Allah saying, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Allah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Why Allah don't say in the name of Allah and that's it? Why he have to choose a three out of 99? And why they are 99? I mean, what, what, what Allah will lose if he have one more name to make it 100? Is that dangerous? Why it's three? They cannot answer. If we go right now in the Hadith, or even in the Quran actually, in the Quran, you will see how the Trinity is all over the Quran. The people in the, of the cave, the people of the cave, they slept in the cave 300 years plus nine. Trinity. Do you see it? Trinity. Well, why three and why nine? If we go a different verse in the Quran, we will find that Zechariah, when he uh, supposedly Allah spoke to him, he told him, give me a sign that is you, God, speaking to me. He said to him, you will not speak for three nights. What does that mean? Why three? What about four? What about one night? Isn't it enough to mute me for 10 minutes? Like now. God, he want to show me a miracle. He will say, Christian Prince, you will be muted for the minute. I try to talk. I cannot talk. It's obviously the, the miracle proven. I try my best to talk in this 10, 10, 10 minute. I cannot talk. So why three? Then you must have an idea. I mean, what will happen if Allah make this guy? He is a mute for seven days, five days, six days, four days. Why three? Is that in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit? So everyone, the person of God is given one day? <laughs> Do you see the stupidity? And they say that they are against Trinity. If one of the Muslims who is when I enter his parents or somebody or somebody when I enter to visit his friends uh, or even a, a slave when I, you know he have he have what Allah have a special rules for them read carefully oh who you believe those whom your right hand possess and the children among you who have come to the age ask for permission before you come to the presence on three occasions Okay, three occasions. The day is full of occasions. Why only three occasions? And then you have a three awrat. You have what? You have a three awrat. Those are private. Why they are three? What is this? We continue. Forget about this. <clears throat> How Allah He created you as a baby. According to Allah, He created you in three stages of darkness. Do you see it? 
even the creation of Allah is accompanied by number three? What is that? The creation, even the creation, involve number three. Not four, not two, not one. Okay. Forget about this one. <clears throat> Any Muslim can explain to me what is this? No, yeah, no. Stupidity. And now if we go to the hadith. All what we need to do in the hadith, and I will, I will teach you a trick. Okay? I'm not going to use my Arabic knowledge and skills. I will just type the word three. And look what we will find. Look what we will find. The Messenger of Allah, S-A-W-S-F-M station, like to supplicate three times and ask burden of Allah three times. Okay, question. You Muslims are not a Trinitarian. Why you are supplicating three times? Any Muslim can tell me? What is the connection between you you Muslim, you say you are against Trinity. Trinity is your enemy. Trinity is false. Trinity is not right. Trinity is fake. Trinity, and then when you pray to Allah, you ask Him three times. Why three times? Hmm? What will happen if Muhammad, he supplicate four times? Or two times? The only answer we can receive that it the, the three time is the perfect number okay let us see here we will use the Muslim logic so we can have some comedy okay guys read with me carefully he supplicate three time right okay I will do this Supplicate number one plus <clears throat> supplicate number two plus supplicate number three. Okay, what is the result? What does that mean? Is that a three supplication or is still one supplication? And if it is a three, then why he is making a three? Is it the supplicate number one is the same as supplicate number two is the same as supplicate number three? Like I say, I say, you know, uh, Allah forgive me. Okay. And then I say, Allah forgive me. Okay. And I say third time, Allah forgive me. Okay. What the difference between Allah forgive me the first one and Allah forgive me the second one and Allah forgive me the third time? What for? You just already said Allah is, uh, forgive me. So why I need to do with a three time to make it a perfect one? Because at the end of the day, what we have? Based on this, after supplicating three time, we have a perfect supplicate. <laughs> Correct? What we have? We have a perfect supplicate. So if we do it once, it's not good. If we do it twice, it's not good. If we do it three, it's a perfect supplicate. But that's mean Muhammad and Muslim agree that the perfection is always only with number three. Do you see it? You see, I'm not using the gospel or because they don't believe in the gospel anyway. You know, if we, we don't want to waste our time. You know, Christian, they start explaining to them from the gospel why, blah, blah, blah. It's okay. But those Muslims, they are stubborn and they've been lied to and they will not listen to you. We use their books. So Muhammad, when he supplicate number one, plus supplicate number two, plus supplicate number three, he stopped there. Why? Because now he have a perfect supplication. Right? A perfect supplication. Okay. What that perfect supplication does to Muhammad? This is the question here. 
If Muhammad now he have a perfect supplication, what that would do? Allah will listen. So if you do one supplicate, Allah will not listen. Not enough. If you do second supplicate, eh, not enough. You do the third. Now, Allah will open his ears. Question, why? Any Muslim have an idea? Do you see how stupid this religion? Muhammad is copying Christianity without knowing, but Christianity, we don't believe in such a garbage, by the way. We don't believe that, you know, supplicate three times. And as Jesus says, knock at my door, I will open for you. What supplicate three times, four times? But Muhammad here is making it clear that his God, Allah, is death unless you supplicate it three times. Right? But are we done here? All of Islam is about number three. All of it. <clears throat> I just typed the word three. I mean, look at this. The Prophet, he died at the age of 63. <laughs> Even his age of death involved number three. Uh, the prophet he did would do three time for each lamp okay hold on that is something muhammad when he do would do he is not perfectly ready to speak to allah even though he never spoke to allah let us say pray to allah unless he wash every lamp three time Question, why? Any Muslim? Any Muslim have an idea? Why three times? What if he did it once? Okay, what if he did it four? Four is even more clean than three times. What about we do it ten times? That will be even cleaner. But obviously, number three is a religious number. Now the question is, what is religious about number three? Any Muslim can tell us? Do we have any Muhammadan in the bushes? What is special about number three which will make your a prayer accepted because if you do it twice it's not accepted four is not accepted too you have to do it only four why no answer no answer doesn't make sense anyway uh, unless maybe you are doing it in the name of the father in the name of the son the name of the holy spirit so you are doing it in the name of who if Allah is one, why Allah requiring his prophet to do would do a three times for each limb? Let us continue. I'm just giving you examples of this cult. Hmm? Even when Muhammad, when he says something, he repeated it three times, including Assalamu Alaikum. And imagine how silly it is. I go inside the room. I say to you, Assalamu Alaikum. You say, Alaikum Salaam. I say, Assalamu Alaikum. You say, Alaikum Salaam. I say, Assalamu Alaikum. Come on, man, we got it. Even, Assalamu Alaikum, Muhammad, he say it three times. The Prophet, when he died, he was, they used for him three pieces of garment to, to make a coffin for him. Why? Uh, no answer. Well, 
When you do something, the Muslims, the Muhammad, he give you three days to decide. When you do ablution, look at this. I saw Ali performing wudu. He washed his hand three times. He rinsed his mouth three times. And his nose three times. And his face three times. And each of his form arm three times. And then he whipped his head and he washed his foot three times. I'm getting dizzy. And he said, this is the wudu of a Prophet Muhammad. Do you see it? Any Muslim have an answer? For sure they have an answer. They are just followers blindly. Nobody knows what, what this is about. No? Nobody knows. All the hadith of Muhammad is about number three. All his life is about number three. Everything he do is about number three. Even muta is a three days. Thank you. Somebody saying is reminding me of the muta. You remember Muhammad? He says that if a man and a woman they like to have boom boom for sex for fun vacation time, you know you can do it for three days, and if you like to to increase, you can increase. Hmm? Muhammad he said, "There's none of you who has three daughters or three sisters, and he treat them well." Except he enter paradise. Okay, so if I have two sisters and I treat them well, I will not go to heaven? I mean, have you ever heard of a stupidity like this? Why they have to be three? Hey, Samir, we have a topic, my friend. Let, learn, learn. All, all of you guys, learn. When we speak about the topic, focus on the topic. Don't suffer from the flight of thought like Muhammad. We are talking about the three, why want to talk about the battle of Khaybar? Drink coffee, wake up. So how in the world, if I have three sisters or three daughters and I'm being kind to them, I will go to heaven. What about if I have two? Have you ever heard of a stupidity like this before? Before Muhammad, he drink from a water. What he do? I have in front of me a drink. Hmm. I drink normally. Muhammad, before he drink, he do this. He blow wind from his mouth into the drink three times. Why? Imagine now we are like a bunch of guys, like let's say we have now 900 people here, still not too many, but I hope soon more people will come. And all of us, we are serving, we serve you tea. And all of you, before you drink your tea, you have to <laughs> three time. What is that? Because Muhammad, he believed if he blew in the cup three time, magic will not affect him. Why three times? Do we have any Muhammadan in the chat? I want to see any Muslim, maybe any Muslim have a comment? Why he is doing this? What you know? Is that true that because he is uh, afraid of somebody uh, will do magic for him, and if he supposedly he breathe a three time in the top of it, that will make the magic go? Any Muhammadan? I don't see any Muslim saying anything.
¿no? Hmm. Number three. If we go in the hadith, just to try to, you know, understand a little bit about Muhammad. All right. All of this is about, uh, you know, breathing or blowing. <clears throat> the Prophet of Islam, if he want to sleep, he do blow from his mouth three times. He prays Allah three times. You see it? Three times. Look at this. Everything about this man is about a three time. So what is behind this? Why three time is going to give me perfection and protection? Allah is one, supposedly. Even when Muhammad, he want to give advice about something, he make it about a three. Like three kind of people Allah will not look at. Three kind of people, they will go to heaven directly. Three kind of people, everything is three kind. Do you see? The Messenger of Allah enjoyed the three things upon me. To sleep after praying, perform ghasl on Friday, and fast three days in every month. <laughs> okay, Muslims, why the Prophet, he fast three days every month? Hmm? Just a question. Look at this. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam drank water in three breath. Even when he drink water, he, he takes it in three stages. What is this? He raised, he rinsed his mouth three times. He snuffed up water three times. Huh? This is what the Prophet do. Who, who dare to question the Prophet? But obviously, all your religion is about three times. The Prophet said three days, I think he said, three nights during which travel may whip over the leather. So what does that mean? Don't ask me. Stupid question, stupid statement. Hmm. Look at this. It was narrated by Anas that he used to drink from vessel in three droughts. Okay. No problem. Abu Huraira has reported that the Messenger of Allah is AWS said his prosperity extend over three days. What is beyond that is more than three days is sadaqa. Okay, why three days is the must? Hmm. The Prophet he accept to take the zakat in three kinds of of payment cheese dates and barley 
Eh, no question. Look at this. The prophet used to pure water on his head three times. The prophet said a woman should not travel for more than three days except with the Muharram. So a Muslim woman, she can go the far, no more than far three days unless she have, uh, you know, a Muharram. Muharram, somebody from her family, like somebody like her brother, her father, or even her, uh, her husband or her son, if she have like an adult son. Why three days? No, don't don't ask. All right. They bury him with three clothes. Okay. Three things are evil in the life of a human being. The evil of all men. Evil all men is a three things: the horse, the women, and the house. Now, for sure, this is garbage. Those who believe in that all oh, men in such a way that's a stupid so what muhammad saying to you that even evil or oh, men is a three i mean look look at this everything around you is a three and by the way here he did not say horse he said for us and there is a difference between horse and for us if we go to dictionary Just to show you how evil this man is. Faras is the female horse. The female horse. So Muhammad saying that the three things bring evil to you. A female horse, a woman, and a house. No comment about the stupidity of this superstition person. His name is Muhammad. If you are a Muslim, you have a comment, you can explain to us. I would love to see your comment in the chat later. And if I want a Muslim, he make a comment in your video later. Uh, you'll find it interesting for me to make a video about, especially about this question. Why? Muhammad believed that three things are evil omen. Uh, uh, evil omen is three things the horse, female horse, the women, and the house. Why? We will be waiting for the answer. If anyone, he claimed, like uh, those who claim to be sheikh, why the horse? What the, and why the female horse? What the female horse is, what is dangerous about it to bring evil omen? Evil omen. Hmm? When the prophet he conquered some people, he stayed there for three days. Uh, Islam is peace, by the way. Allah Apostle said, Abraham did not tell a lie except in three occasions. <laughs> By the way, once a Muslim Abdul, he said to me that in the Bible, it says that Abraham, he did lie to the Pharaoh. I said, so are you saying this is disgusting? This is bad? He said, absolutely, absolutely. This is stupid. And, and you know, I let him talk and talk more like so, so he can dig a ground for himself, like dig a grave, literally. And he was attacking and this is cannot be from God. And this is false. And the way it's going to go. And you know, like, I, and, and, and I'm listening, like, you know, and I say to him, are you sure? When Christian prince say, are you sure? That's mean there's something, uh, something was going to happen. Are you sure? He said, absolutely, I'm sure. And the guy, he got excited, actually, because he noticed I have nothing to say. He said, oh, oh I got him. Oh, 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 Christian prince is drinking water. I, I heard him. Mm -hmm. And I say, uh-huh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And he keep going. He keep going. He keep going. I said, okay. Well, uh, look like obviously this is not from God, and this is obviously bad, and this is disgusting, and there's no way this is can be something said by a prophet of God or a messenger of God or disciple of God 
or anyone who have authority to write something about God. Okay, read for me this hadith. The second I showed him, uh, first I did not show him this is Sahih Bukhari. I said, uh, I have a Daif hadith, and uh, uh, it says that Abraham, the prophet said, Abraham, he did lie in uh, three things. He said to me right away, it's Daif, hello? You just said it's Daif, hello? And then I said, oh, okay, hold on. I think it's not Daif, it is Sahir Bukhari. <laughs> Unbelievable. Garbage in, garbage out. However, our topic is number three. As you see, my friends, Islam, all of it is based on number three. All of it. How Muslims, they receive Islam. Any, anyone can tell me? How you Muslims became Muslims? You will say to me, there's a three names involved. Okay. Who are they? Allah. Al. Ah, we are typing Arabic. Give me a second. Al. Lah. Plus. Jibril. Ah, this is Hebreel. Anyway, it's not different. Because Muhammad, he made Jibreel Hebreel. I don't know even how he cut the name Jibreel, by the way. Because this is not Gabriel. He got it wrong. And then, Muhammad plus So why Islam is established by three names? Allah, Jibreel, Muhammad. Any Muslim can tell us? Why Islam is not established by Allah? Why we have Allah and Jibreel and Muhammad and now we have Islam? If we take one of them off, hmm, what will happen? Let us take Zabril off. Zabril. Hey, Zabril. Oh, sorry, I have to take you. Okay, give me a break, Zabril. I have to take you. Okay, Zabril is gone, brother. Do we have Islam? No. All the Quran, according to Muslim, delivered by Zabril. So Islam established by three so you muslims are people who believe in the three masketeer i don't know how many of you remember the three masketeers but i will remind you Let me introduce for you the three musketeers of Islam. Allah, Zibril, and Muhammad. This is Islam. Any Muslim ask himself, Okay, Allah, he spoke to Moses. Where was Jibreel at that time? Vacation? Allah, he spoke to Isa. Where Jibreel was at that time? Vacation? All the stories in the Quran, you will see Allah speaking to the Prophet. How come in the time of Muhammad, Allah did not speak to Muhammad? In the Quran, you will see that Jibreel, he spoke to Mary, according to Muslims. The Bible confirmed that angels spoke to Mary. Okay. But why all the messengers of Allah 
in the Quran, they spoke to Allah except Muhammad. And why Islam is established by three musketeers when Judaism do not need three musketeers? Allah spoke to Moses. That's it. Allah spoke to Isa. Allah spoke to Jacob. Allah spoke to Abraham. Where is where where was Jibreel? He was a vacation. From here we notice that there is something stupid in this cult. So they claim that they are against a trinity when the fact all their cult is established by a trinity belief. But their trinity is stupid. Do we have any Muslim here have a, any objection? Please, if you have an objection, give it to us. We cannot wait for your objection. Now, when the Muslim they say to us that Christian believe in one plus one plus one, the question is, we don't. Why you are lying? We don't believe in one plus one plus one plus one. That is a big false lie. Not a single Christian believe in such a thing. Secondly, it's your mistake, you idiot. To say 1 plus 1 plus 1 equal to 3, that means you are the donkey, not us, because we are not the one who put the plus sign between any. It's you who put it. So you put it there and you question why it is there, you idiot. You are the one who put the word, the, 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 the sign plus, and then you question why they are one. But where do you get the plus sign from? which means you created your own fabricated cult. And that is in a total agreement with your stupid God who could not figure out what is a trinity. If we go and watch any video of those who claim or they speak against Christianity, you will see them speaking about trinity at the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. The Muslim understand the trinity. Allah don't. If we go to the Quran, we will find the funny Allah, the first musketeer, Muhammad, he says the following. <clears throat> Let us laugh together. <laughs> In chapter 5, verse 116. The God of Islam never mentioned any trinity except this trinity. What is the trinity according to understanding of Allah? And why Allah is being a donkey? So here you see the Muslim, they say one plus one plus one plus one, which is a fabrication, and here another fabrication. Allah, he said to Jesus, O son of Mary, did you say unto men, worship me and my mother as gods? Instead of Allah, the Muslim they say here instead mean beside Allah. So the Trinity in Islam is Jesus, the Christian they believe, Jesus, he have a mother, and she is the wife of God, and Jesus is the son of Allah, and uh, they have it's a family, but we don't believe in such a garbage. Not a single Christian believe in such a thing. Some liars, they will say to you, the Catholic, they pray to Mary. This is not true. The Catholic, they ask Mary to pray for them. They don't pray to Mary. I can say right now, guys, pray for me. Not a single Catholic believe that Mary is God. You don't believe me? Go. I'm not a Catholic, but you can go to their website and you can buy their books and you can call any church and they will say to you, no, we don't believe Mary is God. Mary is a human being, special, a special person who selected, elected by God for she is a wonderful woman. As simple as that. So how Allah was so ignorant, stupid to the point he thought 
that the Christian believe that the Trinity is Jesus, Mary, and Allah. How Allah can be ignorant? Where is the Trinity in the Quran? You see, when you say Muslims that we learn from Allah, shouldn't Allah mention the Trinity? What we Christian we believe in? What is the Trinity? Why Allah is answering Trinity which does not exist? The answer for this is one of the three. Again, three you know, Muslims. I get you three answers. Allah, He never met a Christian. He met somebody believe in Mary as God. Second, Allah. He did not meet any Christian. He met only himself in the mirror, which means fabricating a story. Number three, Muhammad is a donkey, and he thought that the Christian believe in this. Which one? Why Allah did not make a verse? Let us say for the sake of argument, there is a group of people at that time, maybe they believe that Mary, she was God. Let us say argument, you know. Okay, make a verse about it. Where is the verse about the true Trinity? So how Allah forgot that the, the, the Christians, the real Christian, they believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Where we can find the verse in the Quran, it says, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. We cannot. Do you know why? Because the one who made the Quran is an idiot. He is the idiot of the village. Garbage in, garbage out. You know, let us say I am a Christian who like to learn about Islam and uh, I want Allah to teach me about what is wrong with my belief. Nowhere in the Quran is teaching me about that. Because as you see here, this is not my belief. I don't believe Mary is God. So how come the Quran forgot to mention the true Trinity, we cannot find it. Same time, the Quran get the Muhammadan busted. How the Quran get the Muhammadan busted? We go again and we see. The Quran says that the Christians believe that Al Masih, who Allah. Hold on. Read carefully, Muslims. Right? True, Yeshua. Keep pausing every time you read my comment. Who are you? What's your comment? If you are praying to the dead Mary, a true Yeshua, you are certified donkey. Obviously, you do not know what the what the Catholic believe. The Catholic and the Orthodox, they believe that Mary is alive. So get lost. You see, when this is the problem. When somebody want to speak about somebody believe, before you open mouth, your mouth, because then your mouth will become like an anus. Go and see what they believe in first, and then you can make a comment, you donkey. And now you get busted. Go and see the Catholic and the Orthodox. Both of them believe that Mary is alive. Even the Bible confirmed that when the Messiah was resurrected, all the dead saints are arise with him. So if you think about it, the dead saint arise with the Christ and his mother, she will be in the grave. So you are silly and stupid. You see, you are doing the same as the Muslims. I don't know if you are a Muslim or not. The Muslim. They do not know, this is what we are talking about. They do not know what we believe, and then they would debate us about something we don't believe in. Praying to the dead. No, they don't pray to the dead. You debate a person about his belief, you donkey. You don't make your own assumption. So when you say the Catholic or the Orthodox, they pray to the dead, that's not true. For they believe that Mary, she is alive. And not, they are not praying for her. They are asking her to pray. We continue. You see, this is the problem is, we have a bunch of donkeys who have a mouth like an anus, and the, each time they open their anus, which is their mouth, a poop will come out. The same as the Quran. Be aware of the anus talking people. Excuse my language, please. Is Mary alive? I don't know. 
You see, I, I, this is this this is will not change anything for me if Mary is alive or not. I mean, why? What, what is that big deal? What I know is Jesus is alive. You know, for me, I worship Jesus. Even the Catholic don't worship Mary. Oh, what they do? They are asking Mary pray for us. Why? Because there is a story in the Bible where Jesus, he said to her, she asked him to do the miracle of the wine in the wedding. He said to her, it's not your time. This is not my time yet. But yet he did the miracle for her. He did her request. So they say, obviously, Mary, she is a special person to Christ. So we ask her to pray for us. That's all. And we, as a Christians, doesn't matter what, what the church you go to, we ask each other to pray for each other. And the Bible confirmed that saints are alive. Saints, many of the saints, they're raised with the, with the Messiah. So if I pray to the saints to pray for me, I'm praying for living persons. The Bible confirmed that. So who is alive, who is dead? None of my business, really. What is important at the end of the day, we are praying to Jesus, no one else. If I ask you now, pray for me, I'm not asking you to worship me. I'm not asking, I'm, I'm not worshiping you. I'm asking you to pray for me to Christ. As simple as that. All right. So don't go with those silly people who they have no idea, you know, and they are flooded by, by heat. <clears throat> and be aware that those who they always spread hatred between Christians are Islamic, even if they claim to be Christians. How we can prove that? There is many they claim to be Christian, but the fact they are Muslims without knowing. They are working for the devil by spreading hatred between the Christians. Chapter 5, verse number 14 says that Allah, he will spread hatred between the Christians and enmity until the judgment day. And those who attack Protestant or Catholic or Orthodox, and yet they came to be Christian, they are serving the devil Allah. Yeah, I know he's Abdul. I know, but sometimes you might you might find a Muslim uh, uh, someone claim to be Christian. Doesn't matter. You see, it doesn't matter who say your stupidity is is rejected. At least if you want to see, there is there is things I don't agree with with the Catholic as an you know like uh, as an example pictures, but that will not make them not a Christian for me. Let us say for the sake of argument, I broke a command, but aren't we all of us break the command of God? If there is one of us here is not a sinner. All of us we are sinners. So if a breaking a command make you not a Christian no more, that's mean all of us we are not Christian no more. For all of us, we broke command of God, here or there. At least those who they are breaking command, about like a picture, this picture because they love God so much, not because they are filthy. They are not putting a striptease girl in the in the in the wall, they are putting a picture of someone we love all. So even that command break, it was based on love and dignity. Not because they are filthy. How many people they worship artists, yet they claim they are Christians, or they claim to be Muslims as they claim? Pictures of artists all over your wall. Singers. You go crazy for a signature for an artist. You want to take a selfie with This is worship. This is an act of worship. You are losing your mind. You are under the influence of a famous person. You are a potato. Now here we notice, we go back. When Allah, he said that the Christians, they believe that Allah is the Messiah. He destroyed all the Trinity. He claimed. This is a contradiction for the other verse. Anyone notice why? If Allah saying to Isa, did you say worship me and my mother? Correct? This is the claim. And then he say that Allah said that the Christian believe that Allah is a Christ. So we don't have two. So you Muslim, when you say five, sorry, uh, one plus one plus one plus one. You are against your God teaching because the Christian, they say Allah is a Christ according to the Quran.
Muslim proper, you are stupid like your prophet, excuse me. Because what is the covenant Allah he gave to the, to the Christians? You see, just to show you how stupid you Muslims are, excuse my language. Guys, this is what Abbas, he just said in the, in the chat. Just to show you that those people, they don't use their brain when they open their mouth. Read carefully. Abbas Agha said, saying because people break the covenant by forgetting it, you stupid idiot. Show me the covenant. When Allah in the Quran, he says he gave the Christian a covenant and where we can find it. In order to, to follow a covenant, you should reserve it. You should show it to us. So you are asking us to follow the covenant, but you claim that it's not exist. Okay, now I am a Christian. I want to follow the covenant <laughs> where I can find it. Secondly, if somebody forget the covenant, how spreading hatred will help? Do you see how stupid what you said, Muslim proper? Because you are saying to me, okay, Christians, you have a problem and Allah will fix it by what? By spreading hatred and enmity. Your God is the devil. Because Jesus said, I came for the sick, not for the healthy. So your God saying, if you are sick, I will make you more sick. I will spread hatred between you. I will not correct you. I will not fix you. I will not help you. I am your enemy. I am the devil Allah. Actually, the Quran make it so clear about sickness. In chapter 2, verse number 10, Allah said, In their heart there is a disease, and Allah will increase the disease. Instead of Allah guiding them, He will increase it. <laughs> Do you see the stupidity? Do you see the stupidity? And here we notice that there is no way Christianity have anything to do with Islam because Jesus says, I came for the sick. Jesus, he want to help the sick. He don't want to, to make him more sick. And that is the true doctor. That is a decent person who you need. Not someone he is sick, obviously, to the point he want to make you more sick. Do you see it? Uh, somebody saying so if they are asking Mary to pray for them they must consider as God because Mary cannot be alive she is dead right will believe I don't know you look like you are you are deaf or you are not smart or you are slow or you are in a diet I just said the Catholic believe that Mary she's alive so either you are stupid or you are stupid I don't know the Catholic and the Orthodox believe Mary is alive so they are not asking someone is dead However, you know, I don't know if you are a Muslim or not. Muhammad, he claimed that even when he is dead, you can pray for him. In case you are a Muslim. Muhammad, he said the following. And I want people who they are listening to learn how to refute cults. Because all those statements are a statement of cult. You see, cult is claiming something is not a true. So when you speak about Catholic, they pray to Mary and she is dead. Well, according to them, this is not what they believe. So you are fabricating a new cult now. You are making your own cult, claiming that they believe in such, in, such a thing, which does not exist in their belief. Which means you have no de decency. Look what Muhammad said. He said, amongst the excellent of your days is a Friday, so invoke many blessings on me on that day. Okay. For your blessing will be submitted to me. They, the companion, they said, Allah Messenger, how can we, our blessing be submitted to you and your body will be decayed? You will be dead. You will be dust. He said, Allah has forbidden the earth from consuming the bodies of the Prophet. Do you see it? People, do you see it?
And here you see the hypocrisy of the Muhammadan. Like, oh, uh, they pray to Mary and she is dead. Let us assume she is dead. I don't know. Maybe she is not. I wasn't there. But is it possible that the Messiah, the Lord, he resurrected her? Very possible. But how your prophet, he is dead, yet his prayer, that your prayer is submitted to him. And why is going to be submitted to him? Is God? You see, when, when they say we ask Mary to pray to us, they are not submitting prayer to Mary. They are asking Mary to pray for them. Mary is not the God for them. She is just a saint for them, a wonderful person, have a special place for God. Pray for us, Mary. And actually, even when the Catholic, they recite the rosary, it's from the Bible. I mean, many, many idiots, they don't know that this is what the Bible says. When the angels came to her, they said to her, Shalom to you and to Mary. Blessed be thee between the women. Huh? So this is what they are repeating, what is in the Bible. And then they say at the end, pray for us, we are the sinners. Pray for us, not forgive us. Here we see that the Muslims, they reject something, but they accept something in this and the other side. Right? <clears throat> now going back to our topic. If Allah, he say, oh, hold on. Uh, you remind me of what uh, what uh, what this guy, he said here. Hold on. Not to all men, and of Jacob, not to all men, not to the whole universe, or not to all, all for the world. Jesus was sent not to all men, only for the children of Jacob. Uh -huh. Do you hear it? Do you hear what the Muslims say? So, where is the covenant? That means we are Jews. If Jesus was only sent to the Jews, and we got him busted, if you remember, we made a video about this, right? Okay, so for 600 years between Isa and Muhammad, Allah, he did not send anyone to save the people. So what will happen for those people before? Islam has no answer. Stupidity. While the Bible says, for God loved the world, so he sent his only begotten son to save what? The world. They lie and they quote a verse and they play with it. In the same time, if you listen more what those, what those idiots they say, we die laughing. Because the whole video is about Trinity. And the whole video is about Trinity. is not God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Okay, no problem. So why Allah is saying that the Christians believe that Allah is a Christ? Do you see it? Do you see it? And as long he is talking about Jacob, let us get them busted more. Shall we? Let us love together. <laughs> Stupidity is amazing. Look at this. <clears throat> We just heard this Abdul saying, let me play it again for you to remind you what he said, just for, for, just for a laugh. Our people, the children of Israel, to the descendant of Jacob, not to all men. Wait, okay, perfect. Let us read the Quran and die laughing together. What the Quran said, 
And we gave Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and ordained among them the progeny of a prophethood and revelation. All the prophets are from Isaac and Jacob. Who said that? The Quran. So if Allah wanted to save the world, they have to be from Jacob and Isaac. Do you see it? People, do you see it? Allah, he made the prophethood from who? From who? This is not me saying that. From the children of Abraham, he named two. Who are they, the children? Isaac and Jacob. So where Muhammad came from? Was Muhammad a Jew? Is he from the children of Isaac? Even the Muslim, when they lie, they say he's from Ishmael, which is not true. Even that will be against this verse. What happened to Ishmael? Allah forgot him? And the verse is so clear. And we gave Abraham... Isaac and Jacob, and by the way, here there's a, there's a, there's a pro problem in this story. There's a problem in this story. Because if I am God and I want to tell you about Abraham, then why I skip his older son? Isn't it Ishmael the older son? You know what I mean? You see, in all Middle Eastern cultures, regardless if you are a Jew or Arab like me or anything, always even they call you by the first son you have. Like they say, Abu Muhammad. So what does that mean? That means his older son, his name is Muhammad. They don't call him Abu Muhammad when his, the elder son is Ali. They don't. So why Allah, he skip Ishmael? He skipped him. He dropped him. He mentioned him in other verses in the Quran, yes. But here it says it clearly. We made the prophethood in the progeny of Isaac and Jacob. And he's talking about the progeny of Abraham, but he mentioned only Isaac and Jacob in the verse. Now, going back, for those who say that Christian, they believe one plus one plus one, so how come your God, Allah, don't understand the one plus one plus one? He's, he's a stupid. Because look what happened. If you Muslim believe in the Quran, not in the Bible, I will apply this on your game. I will copy this. Allah is a Christ. I will take it and I will place it next to this. One plus one plus one. One plus one plus one. Okay. So here we go. The first one is what? Is Allah. Try not to laugh. Ah, we need to type. Okay. <laughs> Allah. Okay, the Quran says that Allah is a Christ. So I'm going to add now, in the top of it, Christ. Isn't this what the Christian believe according to the Quran? Don't tell me no. Christ. Okay. Plus, Christ. This is second person in the Trinity, right? Okay. But the Christ, according to the Quran, is Allah. So now I'm going to type in the top what the Quran is saying. Unless you're Muslim, you will say the Quran is stupid. I will type Allah. Hmm? 
Are you getting the point, guys? I don't know why this is one of the throws. Allah. Eh? Okay. Now we have to go to the third person. Uh, believe no Jesus did not reject that woman if you read the same we made a video about it my friend you see that Jesus he blessed her and he did the miracle for her so don't lie the women the women you are saying that Jesus rejected her you say shame on you shame on you to be a liar I mean the Bible in front of us and we made the we made the video about this for this guy when this woman she came to Jesus and she worshipped him after he did the miracle for her, he she worshipped him, and he said to her, "Your faith is great. So why you lie? Why you lie?" I understand you are a Muslim, no problem. And about Jesus, he is coming to his sheep. Will Jesus say too that I have sheep in other place? So why you lie? It's a book, it's a Bible, it's not a verse. For sure Jesus come to his sheep because those are the only one we're waiting for him, the Jews. We the Arab, we were, we're not waiting for him. The Aramaic are not waiting for him. The Persian are not waiting, they never heard of him. Who is the one is waiting? The Jews. But he said it clearly, for God loved the world. So my friend, don't be stupid and don't be a donkey. Either be decent when you debate someone about his belief or don't debate. Because you debate me about my belief, not what you think. This is how debate is. Do you say, you say to me, you believe in this. And you have to be accurate in your accusation, otherwise people will laugh at you. You will look like somebody collecting boogers from his nose and then he put it in his mouth. Now look at this. When Allah in the Quran said, the Christian believe that the Christ is Allah. And the Muslim they say to us, how one plus one plus one is equal to one. So I'm going to add now the Trinity of Allah, which we don't believe in because we have to go by the stupid Allah now. Mary. Plus Mary. Equal to one. You see, I'm using the mathematics of the Muslims. What is the correct number should be now? Anybody can help me? According to the stupidity of Allah. What is the correct number should be? Right? Why Jesus here rejected her? He did not reject her. This is your this is your false stupidity. He said to her, "Why you are coming to me? You know, you, you, do you believe in me? You worship me? Who are you? Why you, why you want you know?" And he called for her with the Jews. Do you know that? Do you know who I am? The Jews they say that don't throw your bread. Or your jewel to the dogs. She said, Lord, even the dogs will eat the crumb from the table of the master. She just called him master. He did not reject her, you are a liar. Now here, continue. So Allah is a Christ, and Christ is Allah, and name plus Mary. So now what we have, what is the number? Two. Where is your logic, Muslims? How come you don't apply the stupid trinity of Allah with your numbers? Hmm? Now, as long Allah was so stupid to the point, in this verse he did not mention Mary, so we can delete Mary from the from the calculation. We can do what? We can delete it. From the calculation because the Quran says see the Quran says that the Christian believe that Christ is Allah not Christ and Mary is Allah correct so the Quran made it clear that the Trinity in Christianity is Christ and Allah 
But as long as Christ is Allah and Allah is a Christ, that means there is no Trinity. And Muhammad is a fool. Because that is one. Are we learning? When the Quran says the Christian believe that Allah is a Christ, that means we don't have a Trinity. Do you see how stupid this author of the Quran? You just destroy your stupidity. Because now you just say that the Christian, they believe in the oneness of God and God is one and he is a Christ. And who said that? The Quran, the verse in the front of you. We are not making things up. Chapter 5, verse number 17. In a blasphemy indeed are those who say Allah is a Christ. So even your Trinity, the one you adding up like one plus one plus plus plus, it's very silly, very stupid, and we are dying laughing at you. Because you just said the Christian don't believe in such a thing. The Christian believe that God, which is called Allah in the Quran, is a Christ, not second person. So Allah, obviously, he don't understand the Trinity of the Christians. He never met a Christian. He never heard of a Christian teaching. And that is Muhammad the donkey. There's no way that God is saying this. There's no way that the God, he do not know that the Christian believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Instead, he say, oh, they believe in Mary and Jesus and Allah. There's no way God, he contradicts himself and says, oh, the Christian, no, don't believe that God plus Jesus plus Mary, they believe that Allah himself is a Christ. Which one of them we should accept when all of them, they are contradicting each other? Hmm? How this is can be from God? When the author of a book is a stupid, what you expect? Stupid author, stupid talk. I want to remind you that later today at night in a USA time, it's going to be morning in you for you in Asia. We are going to be in the other account, Quality of Life M27. And the topic today will be making new friends or stay with all the friends. In that account there, we don't speak about the garbage of Muhammad. It is a clean channel to discuss things we believe it's important for us in our life. And people, Christians, are welcome to call me live on air. So uh, uh, if you like to join us, I will post a link or maybe the admin can post the link for the video. Right away, subscribe and join us later when we go live on air. Let me post the link anyway. <clears throat> All right, this is the link. All right. And again, please don't forget to subscribe. That is, a, let us say, it's a, it's a tea club for us where we enjoy good speech without speaking about stupidity. All right. So we will be live there in eight hours from now. So, my friends, Christ, he made something new of us. We are more than friends. We love each other. And not only we love each other, we love even our enemies. Obviously, Muhammad, because he's an evil man, he could not handle the love of Jesus. This Jesus is destroying his plan. To make this earth a land of war and shed of blood. The land of rape and killing and theft. This person, he said, love your enemy. He is Muhammad. He is in pain. Muhammad is suffering. This is why he hated Jesus the Christ. And as you see here, when we play Muslim videos, we die laughing because obviously Satan did not choose the smart people to defend him. 
Look at this donkey. He is doing his best to say Jesus was not sent for all mankind. Not to the whole universe or not to all over the world. But the donkey, he forgot that his prophet said that the Messiah will come down and he will kill the devil and he will rule the earth and he will be Hakam and Muqsitan. So you stupid people. How Jesus was not sent for all mankind and then he will rule all mankind. And not only that, he will kill the devil. And not only that, he will destroy the Antichrist. And why he is Antichrist? Why he is not anti-Muhammad? Why he is not anti-Allah? Shaitan is Antichrist. The name alone is telling you something. That's mean Jesus is God. Because Satan, he wanted to be God. He don't care about a prophet. He wanted to be God. He is Antichrist. Muhammad in the front of you saying, that the Messiah, he will rule the whole world. And the liars, they keep saying, repeating, Jesus was not sent to all mankind. They know he's sent not the whole world. You, but your prophet just said, he will rule the world. Not only that, he will be absolute justice judge. Do you see it? What this word in English mean? I don't know what this word mean in English. Somebody help me. In uh, impartial, what impartial mean? Because here it should be uh, a very justice to the point perfect justice. Any reference you see in my screen in English, very simple. You can just freeze the video later, type few words in like that. Like see this this one here. You can type it like this in the search engine of sunnah.com and you will find it. Okay, but who can be judge, guys? Who can be judge and just, save God? I am a human being. You might come to my court and I might be misjudge you. Why? Because I do not know the truth. I know what people say. Two witnesses, they will get, take you to execution. Correct? Two witnesses. In Islam, if you bring four witnesses, they saw you having sex and they have to see the penis of the man going in and out, which is impossible. Then you will be stoned if you are married. So witnesses will decide your fate, not justice. But Jesus is an absolute just and judge and he will rule the earth. So the liars, the stupid, they don't even know their cult. They never study their cult. I am a Yazidi and I, let's see, we have a, a person who is Yazidi. This is a, usually not often we see from someone is Yazidi we don't, because there are very few number in the world. I am a Z, Yazidi and I want to thank you for the work, Christian Prince. You are the best talking the truth. Thank you, my friend. You are welcome. May the Lord bless you. And I invite you as long as you are a Yazidi, my friend, that means let me do my, uh, my, my favorite part of this. I invite you to accept the Christ. You see, yes, we are getting Muhammad busted, but I still want you to be saved too, my, my friend, the Yazidi. Accept Christ, my friend, before it's too late. Christ, he love you. Christ, right now, he is listening to me and, you know, to, to you. And he will be waiting for you to respond. Accept Christ, my friend. There is no Savior except him. So do you see how stupid they are? And now, after we make a video, is this guy, he dared to answer how Allah, he says, how they say that Jesus was sent only for the Jews. And yet the book, the book of Jesus is called Injil. I mean, the guy, he was sent to the Jew, yet his book in a Greek. Have you ever heard of a stupid thing like this? Christian Prince, he wrote a book for the Jews and the name of his book is a Ching Ho Ha 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 Ho Ha. Hey, Christian Prince, is that a Chinese uh, book name? Yeah. And the book is Chinese? Absolutely. But you send it to the Jews. Yeah. But the Jews don't speak Chinese. Who care? <laughs> you see the stupidity? Even the Quran chose the name of Jesus' book to be called Injil. So how Jesus was sent to the Jews, yet his book is in a Greek, you donkey. And by the way, donkeys are upset from me. Because they are smart, not like you. So his book is for the Jews, yet his book is called Injil. 
You people are mentally ill. What's wrong with you? Is that the hashish? In Jeel, let me see a correct, like here they are showing you the word gospel. We are trying to find the translation which will show you the word as it is. It says in Jeel. Uh, okay, let us see. Uh, let us see this one. Read with me. Do you see the word in Jeel? Go search in, England, in, in Google, Prophet Google, peace upon him. What the word in Jeel mean? So how the book of Jesus was sent only to the Jews, yet the name of the book is a Greek. Hashish. Too much hashish. That is Islam. Hashish. Long penis. The women her ass is one mile. Heaven full of porn. The prophet is speaking to his donkey and he asks him, do you like females? I mean, this idiot Muhammad, even when he spoke to the donkey first time in his life, he said to him, Ya Four, <laughs> Ya Four, I have a question for you. And this question is keeping my head busy. I, I need an answer. I cannot, I cannot sleep. I need an answer right now. Do you like females? And the donkey said to him, Ha, oh, ha, oh. Oh, I don't like females. A donkey is a gay. I mean, even the donkey of the prophet, he don't like females. But the prophet, he like females. Even first time, imagine how amazing it is to speak to an animal. First time a human being is getting this option. I am speaking to a donkey. And now what the question is, do you like females? So they are questioning about Jesus, but they are not questioning about the stupidity of their prophet. When everything in this book is a joke. And by the way, I have a video. I made a cartoon about it. I don't know if I can find it for you. <clears throat> oh, I don't know if I can find it. Let us see. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we need to find it. Here we go. I found it. This is a, a cartoon I made many years ago, you know, and took a lot of time actually and a lot of money to finish it. Let us play it for you about the story of Yafur. Shall we? Entertainment time. Not a true. Not a true. This is me speaking. <laughs> Attack of Khyber, year 629 AD. Ibn Kathir book of Al Bidaya and Nahaya, volume 6, page 167. The beginning and the end. When the Prophet attacked a Jewish tribe of Khyber, he got four shares of shoes four sandals, 10 ounces of gold and silver, and a black donkey. I killed the job. 
I got the show. I killed the dough and they got the show. I killed the dough and they got the show. And a strong donkey. <laughs> Salam alaikum, donkey. <laughs> Shalom to you, prophet. What's your name, eh? My name is Yaziel, son of Shilab, and Allah produced from the seed of my grandfather 60 donkeys, all of them. No one rolled except prophets of Allah, and there is nothing left of those donkeys except for me. I am the last one, and no prophet left but you. I was expecting you to ride me. I was owned before to a Jewish guy, and I used to make him fall down on purpose, and he used to make my belly suffer from hunger. I will call you Yafor. Hey, Yafor. <laughs> yes, sir. I am here for you. Do you desire the <laughs> no, I do not like females. Do not take this donkey wrong. For sure, he's not from San Francisco. When Muhammad gets off his donkey to visit someone, the donkey will open the door with his head and tell the people that the Prophet is outside and wanted to talk to them. When the prophet died, the donkey went to a well and killed himself. Uh -huh. How can I live? The prophet passed away, and he was the only one who asked me if I desired female donkeys. He is the only one who cared for my sexual life, and now he is dead. I can't live without the prophet no more. He touched my heart. I will not live without him. I advise all donkeys in the world to convert to Islam and vote for Muhammad. I am going to suicide myself. All right. <clears throat> so this is the cartoon. Please download it. The link is posted by the admin for you. I would like to see this video all over, you know. Uh, please download it. Save a copy in your drive. So in case you lost the video and post it in YouTube again. So we have it more and more people watch it. Now, this is a this is a story. As you see, we are not making up our story. And now for sure, like we added like some some comedy like uh, San Francisco, etc. But the story says it clearly that in, in, you know, in the book of Abidaya and Nihaya, as we see in the beginning, in the introduction, if we go here, the reference is there. Not a true. Here the reference, you will see it in the front of you. Attack of Khyber, year 629 AD. Ibn Kathir book of Al Bidayah and Nihaya, volume 6, page 167. So we have the value number, we have the page number, nothing we said. This is not our truth, not our story. This is their story. This is the Muslim story. This is Ibn Kathir. This is their scholar. The, the donkey, he is a Jewish donkey, supposedly owned by a Jew. The Jews used to make him hungry. Allah created 60 donkeys from his family, and all of them, they are limousine for profit. 60 donkeys. Makes sense. 60 donkeys, and this is the last donkey of his kind for the last prophet. Makes sense. 
So the story, as you see, you know, in the front of you. Now I would like to see you guys, all of you, how many of you downloading the video as we speak? How many of you are downloading this video so we can have it preserved from being lost? This is the link again for those who care. Please download it immediately and share it with your friends and post it in YouTube and post it in Facebook so we can keep it reserved. Too bad we don't have a, like a high quality, you know, we lost a high quality uh, copy of it. So now we have a low quality, but it's okay, better than nothing. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. Uh, again, uh, I'm very thankful for the Lord to give us opportunity to speak to all of you, to share the truth, and the truth will set you free. Subscribe to our pages. We have a page in Facebook. We have a Patreon, as you see in the screen. You can always subscribe and you will be updated about what and when my coming broadcast will be. Uh, let us put the Facebook page. This is my Facebook page, as you see it. And this is mind.com, where I post before I go to. This is a Twitter, but I don't use it much. And we have Patreon in front of you in the screen too. So choose which one. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Quality of Life. We posted the link for you already. And uh, we will post it again. We will be live on air again, but not in this channel. We will be in the Quality of Life page. And this is the link. It's going to be morning time in Indonesia. You can join us there. And I will be happy to have you all. So I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you soon again, Christ is our Lord. And there's no Lord except Him. And Muslims, they are in chaos because they cannot answer, they cannot refute. And what makes it very difficult for them that we are using their own stupid teaching, the teaching of the most stupid person ever existed for all mankind. His name is Muhammad. And remember, if a fool man like Muhammad can fool you, the question how fool are you? That is the most weird thing to happen. A fool like Muhammad, who believes shaitan step in his nose, piss in his ears, jump in his mouth, play with his anus. If this is your prophet, how fool are you? This is a question you need to ask yourself. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I will see you tonight again in the other account, Quality of Life. And then Christ is Lord, Islam is false, and we prove it every day. Thank you.